acapella. Now, sometimes, you know, they might be so big that it's hard for you to grab your own bicep and, and go around and, and do this. So sometimes, you know, maybe guys that like to do like MMA or maybe um, you're not able to go and they're still grabbing, we could do something called the short choke. So um, the short choke is going to work um, and, and it's not gonna be the traditional mataleo, it's almost gonna be there with the, almost the same setup, right? I'm here, she starts to pull the hand off, boom, right here, and I start to go in, but maybe, maybe she got real smart and she grabbed over here with both of her hands on the wrist and she's pulling it away and you're like, man, I cannot grab my own bicep, this is not working. So what I'm gonna do with my left hand, with my palm up, I'm gonna come in inside and I'm gonna grab. And when I do that, I'm gonna pull my elbow behind the back, all right? So I'm gonna take the elbow and I'm gonna kind of go like this. I'm gonna go behind the back, all right? So when I do that behind the back, it's gonna work the same. Even though her fingers are in, put your fingers inside, and she's pulling away, I'm able to use force, a little bit of force, and I'm gonna use my head, I'm gonna bring it in, bring it in, I'm gonna use, and use my left hand to pull the hand back all the way through. And it's really hard for her to pull the hand away because this elbow is wedged behind her back, all right? So if you could see the elbow, right? The elbow is wedged behind her back. So in order for her to break this grip, she would have to peel my fingers and it's hard for her to reach this. She would have to let go, physically let go of the choke, try to reach up, grab the hand. By that time, I'm able to maybe go here and then finish the choke. So you can either finish the choke here and use your head and look away, boom, and finish. Or you could keep it there, squeeze, and do the same 